Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena on the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel, I'm playing a deck submitted by the community. So Wizards sent me over this list from user IMJJ on Moxfield, who is the pilot for this particular deck. A Simic ramp deck that really leans into animating lands. What I like about the deck the most is that they've taken the time to build in all of the different creature lands from Ixalan. That's kind of crazy. Look how many creature lands are in this deck. And then you make them very, very strong with Blossoming Tortoise. So I love a good Tortoise deck. I love a good Simic Ramp deck. And I'm excited to see how this one performs in best of one. Heads up to you, best of three enjoyers. There is a sideboard over here. If you hit craft all, it might craft cards in the sideboard to you, best of one enjoyers. So I'm excited to see how this one plays. The idea seems very clear, make lands go burr, but also can go over the top with Nyssa, Ascended Animus, which for each forest you control can give out a huge bonus so that everything smashes everything else. Tatiova, Steward of the Tides. This one's interesting. I don't think I've ever played this card. Land creatures you control have flying. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, if you control seven or more lands, up to one target land you control becomes a 3-3 three, three creature with haste. It's still a land. So yes, lands that will smack in the face. Sounds like a plan to me. So let's ramp, animate, and repeat. Let's dive in. Let this nonsense begin. Random guy 16 looks like a mono red player. That would make sense. All right, please draw land. Please, please draw land. <laughs> Untapped would be good. Ah, you're not mono red. You have tricked me, random guy 16. Voice of the nope. Uh, I just want lands, right? This card's not great until we get up to seven and it becomes very great. Let's do the curve thing where we play the stomper into the invasion. That's how it's done. We'll prioritize forests because we're a Nissa deck. We want our Nissa to be awesome and explosive. No! Well, are they gonna name Invasion or are they gonna name Blossoming Tortoise? They're keeping the peace. They're taxing me. That's lame. I'm a ramp deck. They name the Tortoise. <laughs> we don't like this taxing. All right. Well, we get to do the Invasion thing and the Invasion thing is very good. I am going to get an island this time, just so we don't run out of sources. Get it! Yes! The double 4-4 four, four approach. Play pattern that makes the Atraxa ramp deck so, so good. Voice of the Blessed and Voice of the Blessed. Well, when they gain life, we're in trouble. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We could play you and then animate the reef and then fill the graveyard. Maybe? Land creatures have flying. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, if you control seven man or lands, one land becomes a 3-3 with haste. Cool. Yeah, let's go like this. Makes the sky clay fly. Then we go like this. And we splunk. So if we attack with Cottage, we get food. If we attack with this, we get Mill. And it does give out haste. So this is a reasonable way to play Magic. We should add Vigilance though, because then we could also stomp. Yeah, let's send the messages. Double block me. Do I care about the Tortoise? I'm mostly worried about Voice of the Blessed, to be honest. Life gain can be strong. And there is a life gainer whenever another creature enters a battlefield. And that is two creatures, including a flyer. So that's a good sequence for them. Kind of gets them in the game. All right, I will gain this life. 
Blossoming Tortoise. This should be pretty cool if we can hit. Come on, easy. And it enters untapped. Oh yeah, we power up. Man, look at him fly. Look at him go. Look at him get airborne. Uh, we can go base power toughness. It's already base power toughness three, three, right? Then it gets a plus one. And there's nothing to really base power and toughness three, three then, right? Silly bat. And down to five. They do drain me here. We could play the journeys or we could eat the food. Them at five. Me at 22 journeys. What's the worst that could happen? The voice of the blessed now is flying and vigilant. Peacekeeper is coming at me. No blocks. We're being attacked with the vigilant voice of the blessed. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, stompums. Animations. Yes! The lands are coming to life. This deck came with a sideboard. Let's give best of three a try. There's honestly a thing with the hand smoothing algorithm that it loves to give you two landers, especially if you run 25 lands in your deck. So uh, best of three can also create better situations for ramp decks in general, because you tend to get more lands in your opener and the meta itself tends to be a little slower. So we will keep this hand, even though I really wish this was a journeys, but this hand is okay. And there you go. But yeah, ramp, ramp likes best of three a lot, but it looks like we're up against Esper and we're on the draw, which we are not favored. We will never be favored in such a game. If they have Rafine right here, we're in huge trouble. Doesn't look like it though. Uh-huh, straight to wedding announcement. So we'll try to ramp over the top of that. We could also Splunk here. Think Stomper's better? Because we still have two lands next turn, and if we draw a two mana play, we can make it. Taking a beating. It is no Sheldred, though. Just open mana for a counter spell. Guess we'll make make disappear a little awkward with another land drop. They let that happen. Ooh, love that. Double Splunk. Yeah, they're trying to save their counterspell now for the big card, whatever that might turn out to be. But this gets us up to stomping. Show them what's up. No fear of wandering Emperor. Ganjo. Oh, that, that's sad. A dinosaur had just begun to do things. We fall to 10. Schooner, two mana open, double schooner. Okay, this is a big turn. So if we can resolve the Nyssa after an Awake in the Woods, we're in really good shape. We need to draw land for that to be a possibility, but I think we go for it. So we go like this. And we have this fading hope, but we don't want to use it yet, right? Hold that till the last possible moment. If we play the Nyssa, each of our creatures gets plus eight, plus eight until end of turn. So that's the great plan. So double scooter powered up. Everybody attacking. Let's resolve these and see what we see. We see a wedding announcement. 
We see a land. So we have to watch out for a shieldred here, actually. If the opponent's at 29, does that matter when all of our creatures get plus eight, plus eight? 24. Yeah, I actually need all the creatures. So I need an untapped land off the top. If they had a shieldred, I think they would have played it, but they definitely could have drawn it. Let's go for the schooner. And that is not an untapped land. Uh, any land because of splunking. We go to three. They pass. Ah! If we, uh, 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 okay. So it's not gonna work, right? If they have a counter, it's not going to work. Well, we go for it. What is this? Resolves. Go big or go home. Tide bind me. No! That's ice cold. All right, game two. Game two. Ah, Esper is so designed to ruin decks like us. It's very painful. What will I do against Tide Binder? So. Uh, let's see, black or blue spell. I like the flash of this card, so let's get it in there. The opponent's really good at pressuring planeswalkers, so those aren't very good. Let's go to the Rex plan. Um, the animating lands thing is great. I just don't think it's very reliable. This might actually be a pretty good card, as they won't have many ways to exile things. So I think we'll get the Cura Boundless Sky into the deck. Uh, let's see. The Goose Mom, I think, is too much. Well, we'll go to one. What about Fading Hope? I think Fading Hope's really bad in this matchup. It's all about value. And we're on the play, so hopefully we can just get ahead and really run him down. I think that Azusa's many journeys is too many anyway. I, I think four is just too many of this card. And is that, so we were a 61 card deck coming in, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, let's roll. All right, need a lot of lands, a lot, a lot of lands. Four is pretty good. No three mana play, oh, five actually. No three mana play though. I said three mana. I mean two. You know what I mean. We'll just get more tap lands down. It's fine. This is fine. Opponent with a tap land. Love that. Boom. Stomp him. Let's get a backup blue source. Passing with mana up. Lame. Would you like to counter this? Of course they would. Denik. Denik is here. Two mana open. Again. Oh for two, really? Lame. So maybe you're out of counter spells now? See what they do about Tatiova. I want a mill. Now we for sure have some land in the graveyard for when we play Blossoming Tortoise. Gotta stay ready for worst case scenarios. Yep, be ganja. But I'm already in combat, so take your four. Yep. Shelly, of course. With mana up. 
So, disdainful stroke probably. And we really needed to draw land there and we didn't. Okay, cool. No stroke. Get me the death toucher, I think. Pump it up. It's a 5-5, five five, so I can attack into the Shieldred. Down to nine. Ooh, they're powering up the creature land? That's my gimmick. Ouch, that's two points. All right, so this land hits. We animate something. Should be another one of you, I think. Then we play you. Oh, I should have kept the reef untapped. My bad. All right, uh, let's get the ridge line, because why not? And then we'll animate the headquarters, because it's the untapped land we have. And let's bring it. What you got? Seems powerful. Yes! You have now witnessed my fully armed and operational battle station. Uh, all right. So, 60 cards. That was, that was the big key. No, wait, it was still 61. My bad. All right, we are now on the draw. We are now on the draw. Are we going to try to play a counterspell game against them? I don't think that will work well. They'll pretty much have a two-mana creature. How do we catch up? I feel like Awake in the Woods is really slow for this matchup as well. It's a good card, but I think maybe one is enough. Let's get the journeys. Ugh, I feel like Fading Hope has to come back in just because of the speed of the game. I also don't know if this lizard is actually good. But let's just play around counter spells like Make Disappear with some instant speed effects. So that's really helpful. Invasion on the draw might be too slow. That doesn't feel great to me. I, I do feel like, I, I think I have to like switch into this control-ish mode, which is not ideal at all against them. But I think I have to. I think I have to try to counter their stuff, Fading Hope, their Shieldreds, and then play a slower game. If I'm playing a slower game, what are the cards that are pretty bad in that game? The Nissas and the Rexes, I think, are still important, but we have to delay to get that far. The Journeys, the, gosh, there's just too many of them, right? It's so hard to get these to actually work. And especially on the play, you just don't have enough lands in your hand to actually get them to activate. So my deck is slow. Let's hope they don't come out of the gates too fast. Let's hope that Fading Hope can stabilize for us. Let's roll with this. Oh, more than 15 cards in sideboard. Oopsie. Uh, okay. Um, I'll go with one journeys. Watch, we'll draw it. We'll draw it and we'll have the land to use it. Perfect, perfect deck tuning. Not quite, not quite, but all right. Yeah, it's, it's a five lander, but we've got to keep those kind of hands. We're a ramp deck. Cross your fingers. Really need to draw a Splunking here. Somebody uh, is already typing a comment. Well, you need to draw his Journeys. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Journeys would be awesome right here. <laughs> but the opponent, no white mana yet and no turn two creature. So we're in an okay spot. We've got a Rafine. We cannot pay the ward cost yet. But let's do uh, this before they untap and have mana available to tempo us on our Fading Hope. Let's see if they want to try that again. They might try Shieldred instead. No, oh, it's Rafine. All right, we have no land in the graveyard. There's a chance this Tortoise misses, which would be heartbreaking. Let's go for Invasion instead, because then we have Rex next turn. Ramp into Rex is one way we can steal a game. Ooh. 
They're almost to enough mana to go for the throw to Rex. That's a little tilting. But they do pitch destroy evil. Hello. <laughs> what? Counter no work? Aim for the head. Or two. Down to nine. What are they going to do? Do they have... They have an untapped land, so go for the throat and destroy evil work here. And they discarded a destroy evil, which should tell us that they have some other way to kill us something. And discard a make disappear. We fall to 13. This is going to be close. Ooh, that's nasty. I was relying on that tortoise. But it means they're not killing Rex. If they're not killing Rex... They're not going to kill it. What are they going to do? I guess I could play around and make this appear here. So, and then it's one, two, three, four and activate. Oh, it's, it's five and activate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That would not be good. So I guess we are doing this. They tied bind it. So sneaky. Your face. Down to one! I still think we go for the face there. Make them find the lethal. Which wouldn't put it past them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen if they have enough non-land sources, but okay, that's not what they're going for. And just attack with the flyers. We're gonna fall to eight. They have another bat. They also have the virtue of loyalty to put counters on everything and untap them so they can absorb all that T-Rex damage. Can I win? They have to block all of this. Very doable. Making another thing a three, three, not very useful. Block here, seven. I mean, I, we, we have to attack with everything, right? We're just going to die in the air if we don't. So there's not really... The choice here is an illusion. Is this the one I can activate? Which one got hit by the Tidebinder? Uh, okay, it's a land, so it's fine. Your face. Submit zero. Anything I give that ability to just kind of makes it better. Adjusting the Rafine doesn't really do enough. And we'd have to pay the ward for it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Too bad I don't have a white source or a way to animate the prairie. A plus one plus one could matter. All right. Uh, yeah, let's put these bats up first. I want my cards back. All right, we got our Blossoming Tortoise. Let's get that down. And you're telling me there's a chance. We get a Restless Cottage and we can't currently animate. They went up to eight because of those bats. This is insanely close. The card is a land. They untap the Rafine. I don't have a way to make the white. This doesn't come in untapped. All right, blue, blue, green. Do not want to miss tap here. It's, it's, it's crucial. Big old tramples, let's go. Go team.
Bring them all out. Bring out all of our land friends to enjoy the moment. I think we're gonna steal one from Esper Midrange. A top tier deck. The meta's been cracked by Civic Ramp land animation. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so as the one in best of one, I must make a best of one recommendation. Do not play this in best of one without running between 27 and 29 lands because the hand smoothing algorithm will treat you a lot better if you do that. But as you saw in best of three, this ramp deck can still bring the pain. So thank you very much. Uh, it was very fun to play and uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner.